Hi guys. Welcome to Charity's Bubble. Mm -hmm. Say hi. Hi. Oh. <laughs> you're eating your cookies. Mm -hmm. How are you guys? I hope you're doing fine. Yeah. We are also very fine. We just want to show you around. You know there were some people who were asking me if there is a Muslim church, like a mosque. So I want to show you there is a mosque around here. We just came uh, from taking for Christine for orientation for her music choir. Mm -hmm. We've done videos for that before. But before that, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, kindly consider subscribing. Click the notification what? Button. Button. Mm -hmm. And that's how we roll, guys. We are on the road to 5,000 subscribers. We have less than 100 to go to 5,000. And I know you guys are going to help me to get there. So I'm going to just show you around here. Only buckle up. Did you buckle? So we went to a Lutheran church so that we could drop off Christine. And now we are going back home. But before that, we're going to show you. Uh, I hope that uh, my camera is able to take a good video because it's very sunny. Very sunny. So uh, here we go. This is the Lutheran church. It's a big church here. And then I'm gonna go this way. It's a very, very big church. The churches here are very, very big. There we go, all the way. And then we are gonna go to the other side so that I can show you where the most keys. Hmm? Very, very, very big church there. This is the Lutheran Church. Yeah, now I can see that my camera is clear. It wasn't clear, guys. Mm -hmm. I can see that it's clear. It's clearing up. Oh, yeah. There we go. So just showing you around. Now, I'm going to take you to where the mosque is. So that you can see... Because I remember that question popped up. It's a little bit far from my home. And then we, I got this opportunity. And then I was like, this is it. We have to do this, I'm guys. Sure this so, Mom, do you think you should put this here? Yeah, put it there. So I'm going to show you around. Mm, let's see. We do have to cross and look both sides. There we go. So that this one, um, this is just the entrance. That one says Islamic School, and then there it says just the entrance, Islamic Society of What's Lion? Wichita. What's that mean? Like the Muslims, you know. Mm. And uh, it's dear to me because my sister is a Muslim. Hmm? My sister is a Muslim, so this is their parking lot, and I'm just gonna go around and show you here when you're doing. And those are apartments there. We should go inside. I used to have a friend who used to live over there at one time. So, this is their parking lot. And this is the mosque. I hope you guys can see. Let me zoom it a little bit. I hope it, it's a civic society. Islamic community center. So, this is the mosque here. And you see that round thing there on top, you know, that they normally have. So just to show you that it's there, you know, it's there. And then from there, we're just gonna, looks like there's no people, but uh, just to, for you guys to know that it's there, you know, and uh, it's it's on the east side. Uh, that one, I, you know, it's on the east side. It's a school. They have a school there, actually. Um, that's a school there. And then we were on that opposite side. And I think we should go this way, Christine. Yeah. So we're going to go this way and just show you just how it looks. That's your parking lot still. And uh, you find that uh, it's very, very easy for you to find the Islamic community around here, you know around these sites it's not that they don't they, you can live anywhere you want in the u.s um 
but uh, you could find them around here and then now we are gonna we've left that place this is just an open space over there and then I'm gonna show you more apartments hmm? more apartments here there we go all these are apartments hmm? and like I said when you come in the first thing that you have to think about is uh, living in an apartment because like that's the most appropriate I'm gonna go through here there we go hmm? and what you do when you come in um, I think we had come here, remember, Christine? Yeah, we come here. Yeah, I used to have a friend who used to Now, normally, at uh, these apartments, they, these ones are a little bit different. There are so many. And uh, what happens is that um, these ones are the people who are not able, like, to pay, like, their whole rent. Hmm? You know, there are some people who still have problems. And since they are not able to I'm pay good. their whole rent, what happens is that the government helps them. Mm -hmm. they get into a certain program and they, they get help to pay their house rent so they normally live in these uh, apartments and you see they are nice hmm? mm -hmm. you're getting help mm -hmm. and they're you know they're very 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 nice apartments now this is the storage area it's like a garage I would say but you don't put but a storage there. area for them it's a big apartment complex Do but they put here the cars in there, man? Uh, it's called uh, actually it's called section 7 Ma, can, hmm? they, can they put the so when you come there? here in the US and you hear that someone is living in the section 7 uh, they get help that's why I was telling you guys that when you live here in the US it doesn't matter whether you are um, poor or you don't have any resources you will get help hmm? you will get help of course uh, before you get the help they have to determine that you really need the help so you'll have like to set your income, your family members and all that. But you get help. See, these apartments are so beautiful and uh, you they help you to pay. You know, not everybody qualifies uh, because you have to be at a certain threshold of the money that you make every year. But it's helpful. You know, it's very, very, very helpful. Mm? It's very, very helpful. So we are going to go this way. Mm? We're gonna go this way. I hope you guys can see. It's very, very sunny, and uh, sometimes it's kind of uh, it's kind of challenging to do a video when there's so much sun. The sun is just bright everywhere. Mm -hmm. These are other storage areas, and these places are safe. You know, they are safe, and uh, you know, it's it's good, guys. You know, um, when you come to and you are. You know you get help that's what I can say and uh, although there's a process and you can even get there's some people who like they really really need help they even get help for to get food for their kids I hope you can see on that little area they, and there's a swimming pool over there Kristen uh, you want to take the swimming pool sure yeah yeah where the where Kristen is zooming in there there's a swimming pool and when you look at that swimming pool guys there is nobody over there. Mm -mm. Like those swimming pools, there is nobody over there. And that I want to that lady who drowned by herself in the swimming pool. And uh, I was looking at um, the comments that people were making. And uh, people were saying, oh, she didn't get help or whatever. Now, when you come to live here in the US or you go to Canada, you find that we normally have winter and summer hmm? and the temperatures become very 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 hot so when you go to the swimming pool most of the time you will be by yourself because people are in the house or people are minding their business because these countries it's not like Africa whereby uh, everybody is on everybody's business no hmm? here is very very different so you will go to a swimming pool yes you will go to swim and nobody, even if you are screaming, nobody is going to hear you because when someone is in their house, these houses are soundproof. So nobody is going to hear you. Hmm? So I was looking at that video and um, regardless of what, 
maybe when she went to swim uh, in that swimming pool there was nobody and of which like it's very very normal uh, because most people um, are busy like minding their business hmm? of course if there was someone a, a, a passerby they would have gone to help but uh, most of the time when you're coming here and that's something that you guys need to know when you come to live in these countries you come to the US you go to Canada you have to always think about your safety because we are coming from a place that we didn't have swimming pools the, the, like the most water that you have had is water maybe from a basin you know and uh, that's it that's all you've had which is okay because uh, we are we come from different areas with this diversity hmm? so uh, like you know when death comes you cannot say that you can stop death like you cannot it's hard uh, but uh, when you come here, there's something called culture shock. Of course, uh, you will want to do things because you know that excitement and everything. But always think about your safety. It's very, very important for you to think about your safety. Because if you're not thinking about your safety, then uh, you might not get help when you need it. Hmm? Now, like, you know, I've shown you a swimming pool. But you find that... If you really, really, really do not know how to swim, and you really want to know how to swim, then go for classes. Like myself personally, I don't know, I don't know how to swim. But my children, I, I have paid for them. I've done several videos of my kids swimming in the swimming pool. I've done for them, I've paid for them in a safe area. Hmm? I, have, I take them to the Y, it's a gym area, you can take them to whatever. But to make sure that they, are, they have been taught how to do it and they have classes even for adults but if you are by yourself there is no way that you are going to go there by yourself solo to go and swim and then uh, maybe you will be in trouble nobody is gonna come to help you you know unless like there was a someone who was passing and they happened and you find that uh, when you come here you have to know that everybody minds their business like it's very very even sometimes you will go to a park and then you will find that there is nobody or maybe you are going for a walk in the in the in the in the, in the you know there are there are walk paths there are paths that people go for walks. So you'll find that that you are you are all by yourself. Sometimes maybe you'll take the kids to the splashing area whereby there's you know all those sprinklers and everything. And sometimes you will be by yourself. So if anything happened, most of the time you might not get the help. So what am I saying? I'm saying that if you want to enjoy some of these things, you have. To go for those classes of course they are not cheap you have to pay for it i had to pay for my children um to go for those classes and uh like my, my youngest right now uh, she, when she's she turns three i have to go and pay for her and you find that those pools um you have to understand the way they are because that pool there is a shallow end and there is a deep end whereby most of them uh they have uh, they have like a, a line that shows that that's the deep end and this is the shallow end and uh, if you go back and watch uh, some of, I'm not saying that I'm perfect but I'm just trying to like uh, show you like a scenario of how it would have been if I take my kids for swimming Christine can go to the deep end because she, she knows she, she's a very good swimmer but Olivia even if she can she can swim I cannot let her go there and if I go if Gigi wants to swim she has to be wearing a life jacket. Mm -hmm. Those are important. Because if you do not know how to swim and you really want to go to that swimming pool, wear a life jacket. Like, you know, that's essential. Put it on so that in case of anything, in case you are drowning, it's going to help you float. You know what I mean? So there are those things. And you find that uh, when it's in an apartment, they are not going to be liable because um, some of them, are the, I know I've seen some of them that they have written there that uh, when you go there to swim or whatever, then you it's at your own risk. You know what I mean? It's not like when we go to the Y and when we go to the Y, we have paid for it. So when our kids are swimming and everything, even if I do not know how to do it, they are lifesavers, all, all the sides. You know, if you go to that pool, you find that they are they're lifesavers. Those, those those people there they have been hired there that in case of anything happens they will be able to help but if you really really know that you have come from home hmm, you have come from home and you do not know how to swim invest on that life jacket it's not very expensive when you go to, to buy in Walmart or in uh, whatever 
or in whatever supermarket but you must it's a must have you know because you never know because some of the things of course you cannot um stop um death you know uh, you know uh, there's a saying uh, back where i come from that says that uh, when someone is almost to die even if you play like a lot of drums and all that they, they cannot hear it but what I'm saying is that it's very, very important. New things happen for us to learn lessons and for, 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 for us to learn something from it. It's a tragedy. You know, I, I, you know, I was looking at the family members. They, may now, they, they have to struggle to take the body back home. Maybe that guy, girl hadn't stayed uh, in the U.S. for a long time. And, you know, like it's, it's always a challenge uh, when... Um, to, to take someone back home, it costs a lot of money, guys. It's like... $20,000 and above. So you find that if you are here and uh, your parents are out there, they won't be able to afford that kind of money. Hmm? But what I'm saying is that, of course, you cannot stop dead. But there are some things that are, when you come to live in these countries that you always have, it's called like you have to live, you have to evolve with them. If you really want to go and swim. Like, you know, I did a video and... Um, well, a person made a comment. They were like, we are waiting to see when you go and swim with your kids. But then I was like, I can't. I don't know how to. But when I am with my daughter, my youngest, I have to go there to that swimming pool. But I only go to the shallowest end. Whereby, if anything happened, my, my daughter would be safe. I would be safe. And I am not going to take them to a place whereby there is no lifesavers. No, I am not going to do that. I, I'd rather pay for, the, for that safety to be there instead of me like just going blindly to a public pool and taking my children and uh, you know and I, 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 w I wouldn't know what to do if one of them was drowning that's what I'm trying to whatever so if like when you have come here because people are still gonna come to US people are still gonna go to Canada people are still gonna go to Australia there are these things that um, that you have to always think about safety Mm? And especially if you live here in the U.S., like safety is, you know, it's a major thing in whatever that is being done. It's so major. Mm? And you find that uh, when you go to those swimming pools, especially the ones that are near the apartments and all that, you only have a code to enter into that swimming pool if you live there. So let's assume that that person was drowning and there was another person who was on the other side and they wanted to help. Sometimes it would be hard for them to come and help because they have to know the code to get inside or to get access. You know, you have to think of all those dynamics before you attempt to do something that uh, that might cause you harm. And like I said, like it's so sad. It's very, very sad. But at the same time, you know, uh, it's good to talk about it and just to just to make that awareness like um, buy a life a jacket you know and uh, invest on learning how to if you want to do it you know invest on something like that and uh, you know learn they will teach you you know it doesn't take long those classes like what well, how, how long did your class take it was like three weeks right mm -hmm. and they would you know <laughs> the first time I took them to the swimming pool they couldn't swim but three weeks later when I paid for them they did good. So those are some of the things that we should be thinking about, especially when you're new here. You have to think about those things because um, we want to we wanna keep everybody safe. We want to make sure that when our parents have invested on so much, especially the young generation, she was very young, uh, you find that uh, we want to make sure that uh, we are trying all our best to protect ourselves to take care of ourselves because it is sad you know i watched the video of uh, the parents when they were seeking uh, like the first time that they did uh, the first show oh my goodness like my heart broke for those parents because uh, they had hope you know like the way uh, you know the african way whereby like when someone uh, goes to the u.s or they go abroad like everybody every family member is looking at you they expect you to help the, to bail them out in whatever you know they you know that's how it is you know the african way we look out for each other we look out for our family members so um i'm not saying that um 
that you can stop your death. You know, when God, when your time is, has come, your time has come, you know. But at the end of the day, it's very, very important for us to have safety, have that life saver. Hmm? If you know that you cannot swim, please buy that. Buy those floaters. They are called floaters. <laughs> of course, someone looks ridiculous when they are wearing them. I, you know, because, because it's true, it's, it's true to talk about the truth. But you find that uh, invest in the right equipment. Invest in the right equipment when you are going to a swimming pool. Another thing, when you are going to that swimming pool and you are sure that you cannot swim, please take someone who can swim. Because even if they won't be able to whatever, at least they will be able to pull you out of the water, you know what I mean, and call for help. Hmm? And of course, do not serve uh, two masters at the same time, like you're going to swim, and at the same time you're taking that video. You know what I do when I take my kids to the swimming pool? If I have to do a video, I always have Christine at the shallow end, and they are right next to me, you know what I mean? So it's two is better than one. If there was someone there, um, maybe they would have like uh, helped. Hmm? But you find that she was she was all by herself. I can just oh my gosh! I just pray for her family to have comfort and just hope that um, hope that maybe they have started a GoFundMe so that uh, people can changa. You know they can you know just put money there to help uh, the family to be able to take the body back home. But guys, when you are coming to these countries, always have safety in your mind. Safety, 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 safety. Because you have to take care of yourself. You have to, I know everybody wants, uh, when they are doing a video for it to be watched by so many people. Yes, it's okay. But do not, do not do it for something that would cost your life. Mm -hmm. Do not do it for, um, for something that you know that you're not sure of, you know, unless you're sure of you're an expert, then you can double, you know, you can multitask. It's like uh, if, if I, would, I wouldn't leave my daughter, Christine, to cook like three meals at the same time because I know she wouldn't be able to multitask. So it's very, very important for everybody who is coming into the U.S. to know all that. Invest on those resources. If you need them, invest on them. Hmm? Look for friendships. Go with a friend. Do not go by yourself because that's the only way that we can be able to avoid some of these tragedies. Of course, like I said, uh, it's hard uh, to predict whether someone is going to die or not. But at the same time, it's, it's always uh, our responsibility to make sure that we are doing responsible actions and that we are able to take care of ourselves. So I hope that this video is going to help anyone out there. And uh, guys, I'll see you in another video. Thank you and God bless you. What do you want to tell them, darling? One time when I went swimming and, mm -hmm. and, 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 um, and, and I was learning how to swim, uh -huh. um, my swimming teacher took us to the deep area uh -huh. and I was drowning. Uh -huh. And one of the lifeguards uh -huh. on, the back, on their back so they could save me. Yeah, because the lifeguard is there. So you always have to go where the lifeguard is, right? All right, guys. So with all with those many remarks, guys, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I hope you like this video. Thank you and God bless you.